Welcome back. Now in this session we are going to look into mid-journey pricing plan before taking subscription for this course. So let's jump into the mid-journey app and start from the same place where we left. So guys we are into the mid-journey app and here we will type slash subscribe to get the manage account link which basically take us to subscription plan page. Now we got the manage account button let's click it. This will give the pop up with information where this link is taking. Just click on visit button. Once you click on visit button subscription plan page will open in your default web browser. So here you see that we have four plans. Basic, Standard, Pro, Mega. For this course we will opt for basic plan. But before taking the subscription let's discuss some of the technicalities of the subscription plan. To get the details about plan let visit documentation of mid-journey by visiting this site. Okay. Let's start our discussion. Over here you will notice many of the details given like fast GPU time, relaxed GPU time, direct messages, stealth mode, concurrent jobs. So what all these features are? and what is being applied or not applied for different categories of subscription. Let's understand this. Fast GPU time, this is the time allotted for using Midjourney's faster rendering servers, allowing for quicker generation of images. Relaxed GPU time, this refers to using slower rendering servers, which takes longer but is unlimited in usage. Direct messages, Midjourney allows for direct interaction through messages for submitting and managing image generation. Stealth mode, this feature lets you generate images privately without them being visible in the community feed. Concurrent jobs, this is the number of image generation tasks you can run simultaneously. I believe the basic subscription is adequate for most users. Midjourney's pricing is determined by the amount of fast GPU time you consume. Let me explain what this entails. Generally, Creating an image on mid-journey requires between 20 to 60 seconds. This time is deducted from your purchased fast time. For instance, with 3.3 hours of fast time, each minute spent generating an image reduces your total available time. To illustrate, if each image takes 30 seconds to create, multiplying 3.3 hours by 3600 seconds and dividing by 30 seconds per image gives the total number of images you can produce. With the basic plan, I can create between 200 to 300 images each month. If you find the basic plan's fast time insufficient, you have the option to upgrade to a higher tier. For beginners, the basic plan is quite effective, though you should consider how much you'll be using the service. Additionally, it's important to review their terms of service. You have a commercial license for your creations, but replicating someone's likeness, particularly a well-known artist, can result in legal issues. Moreover, avoid duplicating others' artwork to prevent potential legal complications. In my experience, as long as you're original and creative, you won't face any issues, but imitating others' work without significant changes can lead to trouble. I trust this clarifies the details about Midjourney's plans. In our next session, we will look into how to subscribe and we will subscribe for basic plan to get started with this course. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. If you are enjoying this course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will publishing new course on new skills every week that will help you to create a passive income source.